Yo, what's up, my dog? So I've been living a frustrating such situation since I purchased um, a sample tank by Akemo Media, and I don't want anyone else to live that same situation as a situation as I did. So I'm gonna show you like how to install, like set up your sample pack or your sample library for the sample tank stuff. So. The purchase came with like I think three other VST instruments, but all those all those other VST instruments can be loaded in Sample Tank itself. So you don't necessarily need to install the other VST instrument, but I, ins I install everything just because I want to categorize. Because like each of those VST instruments are, are like proper for a type of sound. You know what I mean? So it makes it easier for me to know what kind of sound I'm going for whenever I just load one type of VST instead of loading sample tank that has like all the VST type. You know what I mean? So in order to install, in order to install sample tank, you need to use uh, this plugin. I mean, not a plugin, but like this, this um, software is called IK Product Manager. So when you load it, this is how it shows up. Like it shows like this and it shows you like all your VSTs or whatever you can install. So you, you go ahead, you just install all of those. You won't ha really have an issue with installing the, v the VSTs. Those won't go come like easy. The issue will be with the sound. When you're trying to install the sound, it takes forever. And the thing is, it's not, I don't know if it's an issue with Mac because I don't know how if it works with Windows. I don't know if it's like more efficient with Windows, but like anytime you install, it will be like sometimes you have issue downloading and you stop downloading and you won't even be notified and then you have to cancel and start over or uh, uh yeah you won't keep going because like it downloads the file and then it install the file and you have to delete those files that has been downloaded in order to be installed otherwise you will have like duplicated files that you won't even be being able to use because the the other one is just a setup not this the file like not the music or not the tone itself you know so what, what I was doing is I was just installing everything, installing everything, installing everything, but I realized that some of them is not going on, but now I, I was able to download most of them. So what I did is I used the software for most of the download I was doing. I actually left it overnight. And when I came back this morning, I'm like, whoa, it's still going on and it's not done yet. I'm not, now there's an issue. So I figured a way to download stuff manually. So what I did is I went on the website on IK Multimedia website. So once you go on the website and you go, you go on my product, it shows you like all the product you have access to. So there will be like free product and the one that you purchase. So what you have to do is you should, you need to know what are the files you are trying to download. So in my case, it was, uh, it was few stuff. So like right now I still have to download Centronic 2 Pro V, Centronic 2 OS, Centronic 2. I'm downloading, currently I'm downloading my host slave Fila, Harmic, or whatever. So what you have to do is you just go here, and then since it's Centronic, you just go on Sound Download, and then you you can when you hit Download, it downloads one file. But when you hit Shift and try to download all of them, so let's say you're trying to download the whole stuff, like you go like this, it might not download the whole stuff. So what you have to do is you have to go step by step. So you might you might try to download like seven files, it will work, and then you keep going until you get the whole stuff. And once you are done now. You just open your uh, wherever you downloaded the files. So you just open it. I'm just gonna open one random one. So you just open it, and once that is open, you install the file. And you have to install each individual files, like each of them. Like you install this, it's done. You close it. You go to the next one. You install it. It's done. It's closed. You close it. I run into an issue though. There was an issue where I was trying to install one of the files and it wasn't going. So what I did I was trying to like install one of the files I downloaded. Like so, it comes like this. You just open it and then you just go next, next. There we go. I, I think I just had the same issue. See, see, that was the issue. A message error came. So what I did for that one is I just ignored the message. I opened this file and I just like literally drag. Because I know where I'm installing my files. I'm installing it on an, on an external drive. So I'm installing all my IK Multimedia sound here, like the library is just here. So what I did is I just opened the the drive. So because all the sound pack are downloading are like virtual drives. So they are DMGs. So I just opened that one and I just copied everything and just drop it, drop it in the folder so that I can merge it with whatever is already there so that I don't have to create new folder because those folders already exist. So this is just adding more sounds 
to this to the folder so that's the work around uh, in order to have those issues so remember you can try to use as much as you can the producer manager software because it's actually useful just that it's not doing a great job and when it gets stuck you just download those files manually on the website and you try to use the installer and now if you have an issue with the installer you just copy like copy and paste like drag and drop and you should be good so what, after doing those stuff when i come back here and i refresh here up here it shows me like it actually like actualized that some of those uh, pending downloaded files were actually installed so right now i just have to work with all those four or five files so i hope you guys i hope this was useful for someone out there so remember it's kind of tricky i mean the deal is cool the deal is cool is a i think it's a really good deal the software is kind of old though i think it was released in 2019 but remember you don't re you cannot you don't have to reinvent the 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 blueprint or the pattern it's like a guitar is a guitar that's how it sounds like so you're just trying to find the best sound of a guitar and you don't have to change it right so you can just like add effect in order to make it sound the way you want but the guitar is always going to be a guitar so there's like there's not much sound that we can still create as of today what we, we are looking for now is just like the best quality or the better quality and the most sound that we could have so the reason why i bought this software i mean this vst for instance is because i was running out of kit i didn't have like really good guitar sound and i also needed like saxophone like brass sound and that's that um, that vst software has it and even had more than that i didn't really like go crazy on it yet but i'm probably gonna make another video for you guys so that you can actually like experience the sound and kind of witness how it sounds like before you can actually make your purchase but it's definitely worth it because i i think it was 69 dollars and it's worth like three thousand dollars they, they said on the website it's old 2019 2024 but the sound doesn't really change you know like the sound didn't really change all those years what changes is the way we make the sound we make the way we make the music the guitar player is playing this that freaking same guitar for years and he's if he's able to make bangers just because he's playing it differently but he's still using that same freaking guitar so you don't really need to be buying like a lot of yes a lot of stuff just make sure your purchase is justified before you make it but this is a really good purchase so if you like this like share subscribe see you on the next video peace out